My name is Ben Jorns and I do electric propulsion research. Uh, the exciting thing about this technology is it's uh, considered key enabling uh, both by commercial interests and uh, the government and the military. The idea is that they're, they're kind of like the electric cars of space. And as opposed to a traditional chemical rocket where you use internal combustion to accelerate your propellant, uh, electric thrusters use an external power supply to convert electrical energy into directed kinetic energy. Uh, and as a consequence of that, you get uh, excellent gas mileage. They, they use propellant much more efficiently than uh, traditional chemical rockets, uh, which means that you can do uh, much more ambitious missions uh, for lower costs. Uh, my research uh, concerns two aspects of electric propulsion. One is looking at the, the state of the art systems today, trying to develop a more fundamental understanding so we can uh, improve them, uh, extend them, and try to do more ambitious things in space, kind of solving the key challenges associated with them. Uh, the other aspect of my research uh, is looking toward the horizon. What's the next generation for electric propulsion? So, so plasma is, you know, it's the fourth state of matter, right? It's everywhere in the, in the universe, and there are many different flavors, depending on uh, you know, how hot uh, the plasma can get uh, and how dense it is. So uh, the sun has quite a bit of plasma in it. It's very dense and it's very hot. You have uh, proposed fusion reactors, which also have very dense and very hot plasmas. Uh, the plasmas I work with are a slightly different flavor. They are, they're much lower density, orders of magnitude lower. They have much lower temperatures. So you'll never get a, a fusion reaction with our types of plasmas, but you can do, still do interesting things, right? So the idea behind electric propulsion uh, is that you uh, use electric magnetic fields and kind of unique combinations to accelerate propellant to high velocity. Comparable uh, applications uh, that you encounter in every day is that, you know, fluorescent lights um, would have comparable densities, comparable temperatures to kind of the plasmas we use. So you can maybe at, imagine cracking open one of those fluorescent lights and uh, trying to accelerate the plasma inside of it, and, and that, that's kind of a good metric for, for the types of devices we do use. And lots of things will flow naturally into plasma. If you want to do energy, fusion flows into plasma. If you want to do novel medicine, that flows into plasma. If you want to do materials processing, we're talking about plasma again. If you want to look at some fundamental interactions in the space, we're talking about plasma, right? The idea is that I work on the state of the art of technology in terms of making space more accessible. That's a very exciting idea. I'm building systems that may eventually make it possible to, to have crewed missions to Mars or to do deep space exploration. Start with the, uh, the question of what you want to do in terms of larger impact. What interests you, what excites you, and then that will lead itself into a course of study of plasma.